Alrighty, Fish and Freaks, welcome to today's video. We're going to be doing some unboxing today, and we're also going to be doing a learning of a new knot. I have learned a new knot. I did a video on it. It's going to be going up on the Mystery Tackle Box channel, a more detailed, close thing, but I just wanted to share a little bit of it with you at uh, the end of this video, and uh, I really enjoy it. I really think it's a great knot. Um, and I think it's a better alternative to what I was using before and there's been a lot of questions about what what knot I've been tying on my braid to fluorocarbon so we're gonna take a look at that and you guys have taken the time to write in and send me stuff at the P.O. box down in the description below so I'm gonna take the time to unbox some stuff and show you fishing freaks what you guys sent in so we got a nice healthy box here it's been a while since I've done one of these and I've been real busy lately, especially getting ready for this uh, Bassmaster Classic week. It's been a it's been a doozy. Now there's a lot of letters in here this time, and I'm not going to read all of them on camera. But I just want to take the time to thank Daniel, Trenton, No Name, Dasan, Bowie Middle School, Brett Cartwright, another No Name, Tyler Stevens. Thank you guys very much for writing in. Um, there's more of you subscribing to the channel every day. And I try to keep up with uh, all the comments. I read all the letters that are sent in. And I just want to take this second just to thank all of you for coming on board. Um, nothing makes me feel better than for you guys to let me know that you caught fish on something that I said on camera or I showed you. Or um, it just made a, something I said had an impact on you and your day or whatever. Um, that makes me feel amazing. So thank you guys for taking the time to write in the letters. They got something in here from old Clint. Well, Clint sounds familiar. I think Clint's written in before, maybe. Okay. All right. We got a uh, we got a Coors Light box. It seems. Is there a letter in here? Is there instructions? Is this thing gonna jump out and bite me? Okay. We got some stickers. Stickers from Clint. What's going on here? Rep your waters. Rep your water, baby. That's a Texas flag with a redfish on it right there. That's kind of cool. I think this is from, does that say three? Like the number three? Oh, these are treats for Winston, I bet. How nice. How nice. And we got a lure here. All right, let's see. Let's see what's going on. I think his name's three. I think that's what he put on the letter here. But he's got, he's got a chatterbait he put in, he put in the package. Always got to use some chatterbaits. Chatterbaits are good. And he got some dog treats. He got some dog treats for Winston. So Winston, you're getting some snaps, bud. Thank you. Thanks for sending those in. Winston will send his barks. This next one here, very interesting approach on with the, with the letter on the outside of the box. That's actually kind of cool. It says, love your vids. Uh, reminds me of my experiences, especially getting kicked out of ponds. I love to fish. Uh, so I'm sending you some of these baits. Well, thank you. I have been kicked out of some ponds in my day, especially in my younger days. Not so much anymore. Now that I have a boat, I just try to avoid getting kicked out of places. But gosh darn it, when I was young, I just had to go fish. And there wasn't a boat and there wasn't a whole lot of water. So I'm sorry for everyone I pissed off when I was younger about fishing your spots. But uh, it had to be done. There was fish to be caught. Look at these big fat suckers right here. These are cool looking. Oh yeah, there it is. There you go. So that's pretty cool right there. I like that. That looks real nice. Got some rattles in it. Mm-hmm. Looks like a shad. There's one that looks like a crappie. And one's like a translucent color here. TWO. TWO tackle. Okay. Thank you, TWO Tackle, for sending that in. Um, these are pretty unique, man. That lip's, that lip's uh, pretty unique as well. I like that. It looks pretty cool. And stick this sucker on the wall there. So if you guys have other baits you want to uh, you want to send in, maybe they'll make the wall. Maybe they'll make it onto the water. And actually, some of them have. I've actually have spot fish on some of the lures you guys have sent in. So. Uh, always love that. Always seeing cool, interesting, unique little niche baits. So don't hesitate to send them in. Speaking of that, Mr. Alexander, I know that you sent me some jigs before. 
and bam, sent me some more because I caught some fish on some of them uh, in one of my videos and I really liked them. Um, talked about it. It was one of my kayak fishing videos. I was fishing jigs on stumps and I was impressed with these jigs right here. Um, they're just they're just nice. They're just the good head design. They got a good hook on them. So thank you, Mr. Alexander. I will be putting these to use once again. This is a hefty, hefty sack right here. This was from Cody. Oh dang man. Got some artwork going on. Cool letter. And we got some, some cool LFG artwork going on there. Very nice, very nice. I like that. I like that. He drew. Uh, he drew my. He drew a hook with my LFG in it. That's pretty sweet. It says P.S. You and Outlaw need to go on a fishing trip when it warms up this summer. So we got a. Uh, I got an Outlaw fan here. Uh, Outlaw LFG fan. Um, yes, me and Outlaw will do some warm weather uh, fishing, and we're actually doing some hog hunting very soon. We're gonna go uh, next next week right after the Bassmaster Classic, so you guys can stay tuned for that. So it looks like we've got some, some all sorts of lures in here. My gosh, we've got plastics, we've got these plastics. What is going on here? Look at these big old crawfish now. Boom, look at these crawls right here, man. Those are some big old crawls. Some big old crawls. Cody, thanks for being a fishing freak, and thanks for the baits, man. I'm gonna try to get you some baits in return because that was just really super cool of you. Next up, we got one from Hayden Wiggins. Hayden Wiggins, you've got some cool artwork on here. I'm not sure what, uh, that looks like G.I. Joe, maybe. Or no, this is Star Wars. I'm pretty sure he is under 18 with that handwriting. At least I hope so. Huh, just kidding. Look at them photos. The kid's young. But look at that. It says, uh, thank you for helping me catch the bass when I'm fishing. Well, absolutely. That's what I'm here for. And that is super cool. Thank you for sending me those pics. You know, I might just like start putting stuff up on the big tackle wall back here. You guys send in pics, you know, it's kind of like a brag board. I should start a section of that and uh, you guys send in your monster fish or whatever you got and, uh, and put it up there, man. Start a little, uh, start a little, little fishing freak wall over here. You know what? This is going to be some plastics. I can tell because it's heavy inside of here. See what we got first. Look at this. Oh, your mama done taught you right with your nice little letter here. Love your videos. Wanted to say thanks for inspiring me to do more fishing and make my own YouTube channel called Landon's Fishing. And there it is right there, folks. You can go check out Landon. Landon has sent me some plastics as well. And this is going to be a summer crawl trick worm. That looks pretty tasty right there. Ooh, and some rainbow trout flukes i've never thrown a fluke of that color that looks pretty good flukes are tremendous this time of year by the way so thank you very much all right we got one other good size box here this one is from kevin let's check this out this is uh this has been one of the most like the thickest unboxing, I would say. Oh my goodness, that little crank makes you popping out right there. Bam! Look at that right there. That's an old pose. This is an old man's. That is some old crankbaits right there. That's old school. If my dad were here right now, he'd be like, son, that's, that's why I used to catch them, them three pounders on when I... <laughs> Just kidding, dad. You catch bigger bass than that. I know you do. And what in the Sam Hill else is happening in here? This is the dirty birdie right here. Look at that old sucker right there. That is a man's deep duber right there now. That thing looks like it's caught some bass now. Now Kevin is wondering if I can trade him some crankbaits because these five crankbaits in this box are apparently too big for him to use. Well, down here in Texas, they're not too big to use. You know, I guess I'll send you some small crankbaits for some smaller fish. This looks like some sort of poster or something like that. I'd see what's going on here. No way, dude. That is awesome. Look at that, guys. Look at that. That is freaking cool. That is a Spro popping frog, it looks like, right there. 
or uh, maybe a Booyah Pad Crasher, something like that. And uh, we've got these reeds right here, and look at that bass, man. All right, let's get a nice juicy close-up of this because this is just pristine bass artwork right here. Man! Kevin, you got some skills, bro. Thank you. Thank you so much for sending that in. I, uh, I think I'm gonna have to put this up on the wall for sure. For sure, man. Thank you, Fishing Freaks, for sending all that cool stuff, all your letters in. That was awesome. And as I told you at the beginning of the video, I am going to go over a new knot that I've really been enjoying and that I do a detailed um, review on the Mr. Tackle Box channel or on how to, uh, but I just quickly wanted to show you uh, what it's about and how to just quickly do it. Um, and if you guys are digging it, if you want to learn more, just uh, hit the like button, tell me in the comments, and I'll do a, uh, a more uh, detailed look at exactly how to do this knot. So I'd actually never heard of this knot before, and uh, Mr. Tackle Box asked me to, uh, to, to learn this knot and do a video on it. And so I thought it'd be a cool opportunity to, um, you know, get get good at that and try something new. And I tried it and I loved it, um, and it's really been working good. And the other thing that I really like about it is, you know, I'm using the favorite rods, and a lot of the favorite rods have these. Uh, this is the big sexy right here. It has these Fuji uh, Fuji K frame guides on it, but the the guides on the upper end of the rod are are fairly small, and most of the the rod companies are going to that now. Uh, even G, G. Loomis, um, an old rod company that I was using, was starting to do that, and traditionally they had bigger guides. On the Alberto knot, which I'm about to show you, it's like, it's not even there. It's awesome. So if you do it right, if you take your time, really get it good, um, it's, it's a fantastic knot to tie, and it really holds strong. I have not broken the actual knot yet. I've been hung up on stumps and docks and tried to just break, break. I've only broke the lure off. I haven't actually broken the knot yet, which tells me it's a really, really strong knot. All right, so quickly, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this knot. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your fluorocarbon line and you're gonna make a loop in it, just like that. Then you're gonna take your braided line and you're going to run through that loop You're gonna pinch, pinch it off right there, and then you're gonna take your braid line and you're gonna wrap it around those two fluorocarbon lines eight times. Then you're gonna pause, you're gonna pinch right there, you're gonna wrap the braid back the other direction. Okay, eight times again. Old black tip hunter was calling me. Okay, he is a knot freak, so he probably called in. He probably found out. He's like, "Oh, dude, you're doing the Alberto knot. Let me show you how to do it." We got this. Don't worry, black tip. You're gonna go. This is the most important part about this knot. So you're gonna go back through uh, the same direction, so that both of your braid uh, lines are going through the loop. Um, and you just want to go through underneath it and you just want to start to pull uh, I lubricate the knot just get a little little spit on it and then just start to pull it down cinch it down just like that and these babies come together like a Chinese finger trap it ain't going nowhere and what I really like to do is I'll, I'll cinch it down a little bit you know just mm, get on it good so then after I tie it, I'll just take my hook, I'll put it, I'll put it on, you know, a, a bench or something, and I'll really yank on it hard, lock my drag down and yank on it, and then uh, it'll really cinch it down. So that is what that knot looks like after you're done tying it. Then you just want to take your snips, and you want to snip that fluorocarbon close, real close. Like after you cinch it down, it's good to go. And it's just flush on there. Same thing with the braid. You can just go close because the tighter you pull, the more it's going to cinch down. It's just, it's just locked in. I haven't been able to break it. That's 25 pound fluorocarbon right there, a 50 pound braided main line, and that sucker goes right through the guides. So this is the deal with it. See how I'm just, 
I'm just reeling that right into the guides right now. You can barely hear that going through there. It's not getting stuck, and I can just cast effortlessly with that uni uni knot, it'll snag up on you and it'll start to wear down. And this one is just, it's nice and snug. So like I said, that video will be on the Mystery Tiger Box channel. You can go over there and subscribe and you can see a more detailed, uh, up close look at it. Uh, but I also forgot to mention to you guys the other day when I did my MTB uh, unboxing live, um, if you enter the promo code LFG uh, in Mystery Tiger Box, you get $10 off your, your initial subscription. So if you wanna go check that out, uh, you just enter that promo code and you get a little discount on your first box. So this week's been a little crazy, but it's also been a lot of fun. The Bassmaster Classic has, has never been this close to me before, so uh, there's a lot of people coming in town and uh, meeting up. We're going fishing. Uh, we're getting ready for the Classic, and uh, I'm taking out the Mr. Tackle Box boys next. So that'll be the next adventure, and hopefully I'll see some of you guys there at the Bassmaster Classic. So uh, hope to see you then, fishing freaks, and we'll see you on the next video.